Hello, Jez DeMail here, and this is going to be a hard review for me. This was originally going to be a review of this game, King of Dragon Pass, and I was going to play some of the game, tell you some of, some about it, and then um, let you know, you know, how good the game is. Now, I'm going to let you know right now the game is good. The, if you like uh, really rich in text games, um, it's, you know, your decision makes... Um, what you decide to do makes a big impact. If you decide to fight another clan, you might get killed, you know? It's it's a very interesting game. But then I f turned it on, and I had to turn this into a buyer's beware. I'm just going to come out and say it right now. I'm going to tell you right now, and then I'll explain to you why. If you want to play the King of Dragon Pass, buy it on GOG. Because it looks like this game, and everything here indicates that it is, the Steam version of the game is a phone port back to PC and put on Steam. Now, why would you want to get the version on GOG? One, because there's volume control on it. There's no volume control on this version. I had to tab out. Two, I read that you can no longer trade for the entire game year and beat the game. You have to go to war. So they took out one of the ways you could beat the game. Of course, I'm not 100% sure on that because I um, <laughs> haven't been able to beat this game. But yeah, um, the way all this is set up as well, I'll show you the GOG version as well. The other main reason why I suggest you get it for GOG is because the Steam version is $11.99 USD while the GOG version is $5.99. USD. So that's a big difference in price when you get a lot more as well. So I'll explain what you do in this game real fast and then I'll switch over to the GOG version. Um, I'm sorry if this is a little confusing. I was given a key of this game from uh, the makers of this game and I've been trying to get out of it because I immediately realized there was a problem with the game and um, you know, when I am given keys, I let you know, and I give you honest opinions of the games. But this was a very hard choice for me because they're like, here's a key, and I said thanks. I turn it on, I'm like, wow, this game's good, but there's an issue here, you know? And I was trying to get out of doing a review because I feel so guilty. But, you know, things have to be said, and I'm not going to be mean about it. Like I said, the game's very good. And if you want to give them money... Give them money on Steam, but I suggest buying the other version. So what happens is, is you have these other members, and they give you suggestions on what you should do, and I believe you can piss them off. I can't remember for sure. But they tell you what you need to do, and throughout the whole year, you need to do farming and stuff, and you need to try to make your population bigger and make it thrive. And um, this is story-driven, so, um, let's see if we can actually get something. I think, um, yeah. Um. Oh, the volume is so loud. Okay. We want to establish a route to Brown Boar. Brown Boars are known for the skilled cooks. All right. We want a big caravan size. Who's leading the- you're gonna lead the caravan- you're gonna lead the caravan because you're not smart. Bye. Okay. Bye! Um, and so there'll be scenes that happen once in a while where you'll have to make decisions. And, um, matter of fact, I don't even know what the hell to do in this version. Let me switch to the other version because everything's on the side here and I don't know what to do! <laughs> I'll be right back. Alright, here is the GOG version, and I just found out that the company who did the GOG version and the company that did the Steam version are not the same company. Um, but this is the GOG version, the one I suggest you get. Um, as you can see, it is full screen. And I'm just going to skip all. Um, there's volume control, but you cannot change the resolution of your screen, which is fine. We're going to do easy difficulty with the game length of short, and we're going to play. And as you can see, it's automatically better. And you can tell there's a giant difference between the two. The other one is, like I said, a, a 
phone app that's been ported back to PC, which I still don't understand why they did it other than wanting extra money. Um, again, I feel horrible for saying this, but it had it has to be said. It is a good game, though. Uh, last year, we built a clan hall, some uh, s steads, and a temple. Um, but when we left, we lost much of the connection with the gods. Oh, noes. Um, if you mouse over it, it tells you um, how many sheep you have and um, how many crafters and how many horses you have and stuff. Let's proceed. Here's our group of people again. As you can see, I like the uh, layout a lot more. It's a lot easier to understand. This person kind of scares me. Um, weren't you in the other game? Same with you. We must put magic into the mysteries so we can learn the proper rituals for keeping um, the udders of our cows flowing. So, um, a lot too to crop magic. So this is, um, like I said before, if you like a very story rich game and it's RPG strategy, this is the game for you. But as I keep on saying, Get it from GOG. It's a lot cheaper, and you're not missing out on all the stuff that they took out of it. Um, I prefer the layout of this game more than the other one. I just think it's prettier. So we have a magic reserve. What did she say she wanted? She wanted to put magic into mysteries so we can prevent the cows from drying up. The women of our clan can't learn magic, so they need to help defend us. Uh, um... A lot of, uh, a lot, some of the magic to mysteries so we can help sacrifice for, okay, yeah, but I already did mysteries. Uh, two to health magic. All right, I'm going to do what they suggest. Prop, uh, if we devote our magic to mystery, I already did, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Spend what you can, no! At least keep magic, res uh, at least keep one point of magic to reserve in case we need it. And the... This person said that in the other in the other game. Um, a lot too for crops. Okay, and I don't even have to use them all. I'm just gonna um, reserve them. And let's see, what are we gonna do here? And this layout is just so much better. Population: 412 farmers, 304 children. Um, this is a balanced clan. Well, thank you. The clan's mood is reserved. Let's let's a feast. Let's have a medium feast and invite our neighbors. That should make everyone happy, right? I don't think it did. Let's go on. Alright, look at this. We got volume! Which wasn't in the other one. <laughs> and, um... This says it's copyright 1999 by A Sharp. Um, I should turn back on the other one to see what the copyright was. But, um, yeah. So, um... Long story short, this was going to be a proper review, but now it's a buyer's beware. Get it on GOG. It is obviously the better of the two. Um, game is really good if you're into this type of thing. If you want, I'll do an actual let's play of it. Um, but I just wanted to get this out there because I've been sitting on the Steam version of the game feeling horrible because of the decision I had to make. Okay, so this is copyright 1999-2015 A-Sharp LLC HeroCraft 2015. So this is the HeroCraft version of the King of Dragon Pass. I'm going to have links down below to the Steam version and down to the GOG version, depending on which one you'd like. Now the pros of this is that you'd have the game on Steam, but you'll be missing out on so much more. As you can see, this! So confusing! <laughs> Thank you very much for watching! And I will see you again for another episode of whatever. Goodbye.